What principles of mathematical thinking do you think would be beneficial for non-mathematicians to incorporate into their everyday lives? In, in the end, I think that uh, 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 what's important in everyday life for uh, 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 any citizen uh, is something that you find sometimes among mathematicians, but more generally among scientists and uh, so that's uh, being able to make a logical argument, okay? So clearly when I hear so many of our politicians, uh, uh, you have a speech, sentence A make, uh, the first sentence makes perfect sense, B follows A, and suddenly you jump to C, which has no, uh, 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 where there is, they pretend it's a logical consequence, but it is not. Okay, so that's one thing. Of course, there are also certain uh, what, what's that's logical argument. You know, a, 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 a good example of catastrophe is Trump. Donald Trump, when he gives a speech, typically he jumps around all the time. Uh, this, this is a catastrophe from a logical point of view. I don't want to, 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 to make any kind of political statement. I'm just analyzing the, uh, uh, the logical sequence of, uh, uh, of sentences in the speech. Okay, uh, that's one. The other two is more than being able to compute, it's uh, having some kind of quantitative uh, uh, um, experience, familiarity. Um, when you multiply 29 by 32, you may immediately go to your cell phone to, <laughs> to see what is the result, or you can just say it's around 900 because it's around 30 times 30. And that's what's useful. The precision is really extremely important, okay? So uh, what is one third of 60%? Okay, uh, proportion, because that's, uh, uh, we, we are talking about poles, we are talking about proportions all the time. Uh, how big is uh, a, a thousand billions? How many millions do that make? So this is this kind of quantitative, and, and that's useful because people hear in the, at the news uh, that that is, uh, I don't know, uh, 3,000 uh, <laughs> 3, trillions or whatever. and uh, But it's completely surreal. Most people have no clue on how large this is. And so this is not specifically mathematics. I think this is what you should, one should emphasize at school, uh, even, even before learning mathematical rules, is how to manipulate numbers and how to distrust numbers. Because when you hear a number, so that's uh, uh, errors, uh, a number rarely is uh, 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 meaningful in a practical situation. There is always some error margin. People have got, uh, have, uh, are used to that when they discuss polls. So they know that uh, this party is supposed to uh, get, uh, I don't know, 17% uh, seven, of, the, of, of the votes. But there is a margin. They know, depending on the poll, depending on the party, that it's going to be between 16 and 18, maybe a little more. Well, typically, uh, the, uh, the, uh, the accuracy is about 1% to 2% 2 usually. But there are some circumstances where they completely miss the boat, but that's another, uh, another story. Okay, so uh, uh, what is the uh, margin, the error margin? During the COVID crisis, it was a nightmare for a, a logical guy like that because I was hearing, uh, uh, I was hearing, uh, you know, government, uh, our government, but I'm pretty sure it was the same all over Europe, slightly better in Germany where there were real experts that were trying to explain on TV what was going on. Uh, but um, in many countries, it was a catastrophe, including uh, France, because they would, uh, uh, you know, a, a minister would come and say, well, the so-called contagion factors, uh, what the are not coefficient, uh, 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 has uh, grown up to 0 0.86. And I was, I was dumbstruck by such stupid comments, because the uh, margin error for 
computing this contagion factor was probably about 30 percent, three zero, which meant that uh, the only thing you could say that what the contagion factor seems to be really greater than one, so the epidemic is, is, is expanding, or really smaller than one, so the epidemic is decreasing, or it should be about one, and then we have to wait and see and hope it goes in the right direction. But, uh, you know, announcing such precise number makes absolutely no sense. And, uh, and citizens have to, be, uh, uh, have to be aware that uh, when you hear a very precise number, be careful. Okay, there is an error margin, and uh, without this, uh, if you're not saying it should be about that, but not 13 percent, well, forget it. Uh, uh, the error margin is often so. Okay, so you see, that's what I call the uh, <clears throat> uh, 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 a quant culture. Be able to manage quantities, numerical quantities, in with common sense. It's not a, it's not scientific, it's just good common sense. Ask questions. And uh, don't trust what you're seeing on, 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 on videos like this one. Check. Uh, so you never know who is speaking and who's... Uh, uh, the, the, uh, all the stupidities, E or I, that I've said during this interview. What advice would you give to aspiring students who are interested in pursuing a career in mathematics? Okay. Um, first of all, you, you have understood that I love mathematics, but um, I, I, uh, if people don't like mathematics, it's fine. And uh, people can even do mathematics as I or use mathematics without being a mathematician. So uh, I think that uh, learning mathematics or some quantity of mathematics is useful in your life. Okay doesn't mean that you have to become a professional mathematician. Now, if you're really interested and if you're having fun in mathematics, because the main criterion in math is having fun, okay? Uh, as I often said, I'm very uh, grateful uh, to the French taxpayer who pays me for just having fun. Uh, and, um, <clears throat> Uh, and, it, 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 you know, it's um, uh, quite often New York Times uh, makes some kind of ranking of uh, uh, jobs. What is the best possible job? Mathematician, being a mathematician, so often come first. Why that? It seems strange. Not part particularly good salaries, very complicated questions, failing always all the time. It's because when you are a professional mathematician, you are free much more than in any other activity. So if you like to have fun with math and you enjoy being your own boss, uh, then indeed uh, uh, mathematics is a good job and I certainly recommend it. I think that Jonathan is a startup founder, right? And uh, it's it's not, no, no, no surprise that a young, more and more young people uh, uh, are preferring to work in a startup company rather than in a large company where they might get a better salary, a more stable situation, uh, 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 and so on. It's because of freedom. Startup is a lot of hard work. You may end up working much more in a, in a startup company. Uh, I founded a few. So <laughs> I uh, uh, and um, uh, uh, much more work, but it's fun. You're essentially your own boss. You decide about what you're doing. So it's so much fun. So that's why I'm insist insisting upon uh, uh, upon freedom as a scientist. You know, when you are a, a chemist or a biologist, you have to run experiments. You need a lab. You need to find money. In the end, don't repeat it, but we don't need that much money. <laughs> we do that. <laughs> uh, that's uh, so so that's uh, uh, fun and freedom are two good reasons to try and try your luck. I mean, uh, I think training through research, uh, for, for, what about PhD? You can think PhD as a goal. Goal to do what? Okay. One possible outcome is indeed research, but it, it's also a training. And uh, I'm perfectly happy when I hear that uh, 
uh, some PhD uh, students have decided to go private, so to go in, in private companies, because they will bring with them their capacity of trying to think by themselves, out of the box. Not always, but at least, uh, so um, even if you don't want to become, uh, to, to go into academ academia, uh, 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 and you're gifted in mathematics, uh, a PhD in mathematics, there is no risk involved. The worst happens is that, okay, you will uh, you, you will monetize your PhD in math in, uh, in a company. Well, that's no big deal. What do you think is important when teaching mathematics to young people? Oh, I don't know. No, I don't know. I, I never taught mathematics uh, to, uh, to young people. So uh, it would be very presumptuous to give advice to people that have that are uh, fighting on the front. <laughs> so, uh, uh, um, so uh, my personal belief, in general, not only uh, in teaching math in that school, is that one should always insist that mathematics for centuries has always been a way to describe the world around us. So telling always the stories which are behind the mathematical notion should help. Uh, in fact, even the words, uh, 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 the words that we use in, in, in mathematics, they all come uh, uh, from trying to describe uh, a, a practical situation. Let me just take one example. I could go on and on and on. Uh, Calculus, okay? So we all know the word calculus. Where does it come from? It comes from Latin. And what does it mean in Latin? It means little rock, a pebble. Why? Because that's a way to count when you begin uh, trying to count. You use little rocks, calculus. In fact, you, in, in medicine, uh, uh, calculus is a stone, right? like a kidney stone and so on. Uh, so, this explains that uh, for centuries be before it became a science with its inner logic and so on, mathematics has been used to describe what's, uh, what's going on around us. So, calculus, geometry, geometros, measure the ground, okay? Agriculture, okay? Later on, architecture. That's what geometry was built for. So, since basically in schools we are uh, we are uh, we, we 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 are learning very old notions, uh, maybe telling those stories would help uh, uh, the kids to understand that this is not uh, you, you know an abstract operation that uh, you have to learn in order to have grades and so on, and uh, you really dislike it, you you suck at it, and you. Uh, you, you just want the mass cl class to be over as soon as possible. No, now it's natural. You may need some time to absorb the notion. Some people will absorb it very quickly. Others will take more time. And one should take the time for those who need about that. Van Neumann, I, one never understand mathematics when gets used to it. So. Maybe let's try to do less in uh, uh, at school, but let's do it better by taking the time to really understand it and trying to make real logical arguments, elements of proof, not recipes. Recipes is not science. Huh? It's nothing. It's it's uh, it's about uh, cooking. Huh? It's not uh, 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 so. Um, that's my personal feeling as again i'm uh, 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 i don't want to insist too much upon it because i have no experience <laughs>